it's Diana Minerva and today I'm going to share with you a sew along for this Simplicity Amazing Fit dress. So it's pattern number 1586AA and we're going to be making this colour blocked dress here, same as the one on the front cover. So it's version B, this sleeveless version and what we're going to be using today is this stretch woven cotton sateen. Now this fabric is available in 18 colours should you wish to use other colour combinations. And we're using today the cobalt blue and the black. So it will look just like the one on the cover. Now it's 97% cotton and 3% elastane. It's 145 centimetres wide and it has a 20% stretch width and it's a medium weight fabric. Now should you wish to sew along with me today, all you have to do is click on the link below and you'll have everything you need. So you will receive the simplicity pattern, the cotton sateen in the colourways of your choosing, a matching thread, a matching zip and some interfacing. Now before we begin, why not take a look at the Minerva Craft Club? With the Minerva Craft Club, you get 10% off all your orders for a whole year, so it's a really good deal. And that includes anything that you buy with us today. Also, why not create a free account? With a free account, you can connect with like-minded sewers from all over the world, share projects, ideas and inspiration. It's a really good place to share your sewing hobby and it's all completely free. So why not go ahead and do that now? Now, before we begin, you want to wash and prepare your fabric as you would normally. So if you normally wash and tumble dry, go ahead and do that now. Don't skip this important step because we don't want to spoil our lovely makes once we've created them. We do allow 10% shrinkage, so it's always best to get this preparation step out of the way before you begin. When you've done this, you're going to take your pattern and then locate your sizing on the back. Then with a tape measure, measure your bust, waist and hips and check that it corresponds with the sizing here. Don't just go for your standard dress size because these can vary by quite a bit. And patterns can also vary, so it's always best to check your measurements before you start. When you've done this, we're going to go and cut our pattern pieces and we are cutting for version B, so let's go ahead and do that now. So here are our pattern pieces. So we are making version B. So here we have our front piece. And it is cut on the fold here. So we're going to cut one on the fold. Here is your adjustment line. And also here lengthening or shortening. You're going to make a note of these circles here and also your notches. Here we have our back pieces. So we're going to cut two this time. Here is your grain line. Make a note of your circles and your notches. Notice that I've done the back, these two pieces, and the front in the blue. And then we're going to do the remainder of the pieces in black for the main dress pieces. Again, adjustment lines here and here. And you've also got these notches here. So here we have our side front. You're going to cut two. So now I've cut these out of the black fabric. Make a note of your notches. Here is your adjustment line. And again here. Now you have a 3.2 centimetre hem allowance here 
And also note that this pattern has the option for a curvy fit. So I've cut the average pattern pieces, but there are also curvy pattern pieces. So you determine on the pattern using the guide whether you are average or curvy and you cut the pieces accordingly. Here we have your side back. You're going to cut two. Again, I've cut these out of the black fabric. Make a note of your notches and your adjustment lines if you need them. Here we have our back facing. You're going to cut two in the main fabric and two in interfacing. Make a note of your notches. This is your straight grain. This is your front facing. You're going to cut one on the fold in fabric and one on the fold in interfacing. Mark your notches here. Here we have your front armhole facing. This is your straight grain. Cut two of fabric, cut two of interfacing. Mark your notches. Here we have your back armhole facing. This is your straight grain. Cut two of fabric, cut two of interfacing and mark your notches. So now we're ready to begin making our dress. First of all, you want to wind half of your thread onto your spool and check your machine needle is sharp. I'm using a universal size needle 80 today and this fabric is a medium weight. You may want to check your fabric on a little test piece first before you begin. Now our first job is to do a line of stay stitching around the neck edge. So, so take your front piece and you're going to work from the shoulder to the centre 1.3 centimetres away from the cut edge. You're going to do the same on the back pieces. So on the neck edge working from the shoulder to the centre. We're going to do that first. Now with right side facing you're going to match your side front to your front and you're going to match these notches here. So pin them first pin them at the notched points and then you're going to stitch it all the way down that seam with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. With right sides together, stitch down from your large dot with a, lo with a long straight stitch down to the bottom here. Now this is because we're going to press it flat and it will give a nice crisp finish and then we will open that up later. So stitch down first of all, right sides facing. <laughs> Now here, at this point, you can turn this back 6mm, press it and stitch it down or you can overlock it to give a nice finish. I'm going to overlock mine today. Now stitch your side back to your back pieces, again matching your notches first of all. seams I'm going to get it to the point where the zip is in and we can try it on before I edge finish any of my seams so you can do this beforehand if you wish but I'm going to make sure that I've got the perfect fit before I do any overlocking or edging on my seams. Press your seams towards the centre. Now pin your fronts to your backs at the shoulder seams so we're matching our notches here and then stitch those into position now we're going
going to stitch front pieces to back pieces at the side seam with a 2.5 centimeter seam allowance and then we're going to try on the garment you may need someone to help you overlap the back where the zip will go by 1.5 centimeters if you don't have anyone to help you you may want to wait until you have your zip in position to make your adjustment adjustments so we're going to do our side seams now so it is a bigger seam but this is so that we have room for adjustments match your side notches now when you've made your alterations to your dress I've taken mine in a little bit in a few places you're going to apply your fusible interfacing to your back facing and your front facing now if you've made any adjustments at the shoulder point on your dress you're going to need to make sure that you mark those adjustments on these facings as well before you attach them so apply your interfacing and mark any adjustments that you may have made to the shoulder point here on your facing pieces attach your facings at the shoulder seams now I've marked my adjustment here because I made a little adjustment on the shoulder just a little bit and then what I've done is I've trimmed it away back to the normal seam allowance so join both shoulder seams on your facings now overlock or zigzag your unnotched edge alternatively you could turn it under a few millimeters and stitch it down so finish this in your preferred way then when you've done that you're going to pin it around your neck with right side facing matching your notches so you have a notch here and a notch here going to line those up then you're going to match your shoulder seams open them out flat find the center of your front facing by folding it in half and making a small notch do the same on the front of your dress now I've already done mine here as you can see and you're going to line up those two points as well now when you've got these key points in position pin the rest of your neckline around to your facing stitch round your neck facing moving your pins as you go and lining up your seams and making sure they're lying flat trim away the excess and clip round the curve press your seam up towards your facing and you're going to understitch a few millimeters away from the edge of the seam on the inside so here is your facing we're stitching onto the facing through all layers now change to your zipper foot and you're going to line up the top of your zipper with your facing seam here turn the coils so you're pressing them down with your fingers and you're stitching directly behind them now I tend to press it as I go to keep it down flat and take your time with it up your zip out of the way once you've inserted it and stitch from just above your notches here down to where you've created your vent you can remove your earlier basting stitches and when you've pressed it you see you will have a nice crisp fold there stitch from your circle outwards like this and when you've done that snip into the corner there where the circle is don't go too close to your stitching when you've done that you can turn it over and 
and what we're going to do is we're going to stitch it on the top and where your circle was there on the inside at an angle so we're just doing some top stitching from here to here and then back tack and then that will hold your ven in place so you may want to pin that on the top first before you do that so from here to here now you can feel it on the inside back tack a little so it will look like this Turn the facing inwards at the top of your zip and hand stitch it down the side, either side. Apply interfacing and join the shoulder seams of your armhole facings and then pin to your dress matching the notches and shoulder seams. Remember to mark any adjustments you might have made onto your facings before you stitch it in position. I've left the underarm of it loose. I'm going to get all of it stitched around here first and then when I'm happy with it I'm going to stitch this underarm part of the facing Finish the outer edge of your facing and trim away any excess on the inside. Now we're going to understitch in the same way that we did round our neckline. So pressing the seams out towards the facing, you're going to stitch a few millimetres just inside this seam here, through all thicknesses onto your facing. Now to keep your armhole facing from moving around, I like to pin it on the outside and then what you can do is you can stitch in these ditches here where you've got your seams. So you can stitch from the top so that it's invisible. You can do the same thing under the arm, on this seam here and also at the shoulder point. Now when you've stitched all your facings down around your armholes Turn up your hem, so you may want to overlock it first. It's a 3.2 cm hem, or you may have wanted to adjust it to a length that you prefer. Pay particular attention here at the bottom of your vent, that it is the same length on both sides before you begin hemming it. And I'm going to stitch mine in by hand. So I've pinned it first, and I'm going to hand stitch it now. So here is the finished dress. Well, I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. Have you sewn this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments below along with any photographs. We always love to see what you've been making. Also, if you have any questions, pop those in the comments and we'll do our best to help you in any way we can. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. Well, that's all for today, but I hope to be back with another sew along really soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.